Hey YouTube, it's the iPod Touch Guru here, and I'm actually going to show you now how to jailbreak the iPod Touch second generation. So what you want to do is go to this Cywood thing. It's actually, this is the GUI program. See Cywood jailbreak, double click that. So then you see you got uh, install LIB USB pile and install redistributable package. I've already done all this, so I'm just going to go next step. Now they'll make a patched ISPW file with the help of the ISPW. You remember, you need the 2.2.1 firmware, which is going to be in, which is in the video description. So I'm already done that. So when it's done, go to step three. Now it says put your iPod Touch into DFU mode. I can show you how to do that right now. So what you're going to want to do, I'm going to zoom out because you can't really see. You're going to want to hold the top and bottom buttons. You're actually going to, oh, I just took a screenshot. So it's on. Hold those two. I cannot get this to work, I'm sorry. <laughs> you want to hold these two buttons. So you want to wait for it to say slide to power off to slide right past that. Okay, so now you're in D now you're there. Now hold the home button. Okay, so it's not recognized. So I'm just gonna see there it says not recognized. So I'm gonna go back to my iPod. And I'm just gonna wait for that window to disappear. I'm actually just going to put the camera down here. Okay, so now it's good, and now I'm just going to hold down the home button. Now it's recognized. Okay, good. So you see it can, iTunes doesn't recognize it because it's in DFU mode. Now well, that's all done, you want to upload the DFU file, I'm, I'm done all that, blah blah blah. So then, you want to press this, I've already done this. So I'm going to go to the next step, just read all the instructions, make sure your screen is white. Now, this is cool. Now you want to press upload DFU file. So now it's done that camera down again, I'm gonna plug it back in, now you can see my screen is a bright white, that's exactly what we need it to do, so once again it says you can't find it, so then you want to upload it the own blue patch, and you'll go next step. Press the button below. Now you just want to press paste. And now you see it's running some commands. And you don't have to press copy, you just have to press paste. That's all you have to do. And remember the link for this will be in the description as will the firmware. So, so now that's done. And go to the next step. Upload patch DFU, that's done. So then you want to type go backslash exit. So then patch IMG file. And then enter go and exit again, once again. Go dash exit. So now that's it. Now oh, my iPod is booting. You're gonna press OK there. Now it's just booting. So we'll just wait for it to boot now. I'll do another video coming up soon 
about uh, how to get Winterboard and stuff. I'll have City of Demos and all that good stuff. But it's just, it takes a while to boot, so. Remember, you do need to create a custom firmware to shift restore it. I already done that. I did not want to restore again. It takes too long. So, now my device is recognized. There's a battery signal. Let's wait for it now. Slide to the hand. And look at that. There's Cydia installer. That's basically all you need to do. I got install use and all that good stuff. So thanks for stopping by, guys. I'll talk to you later.